live from Chinatown, Chicago. Millions of viewers, fans in over 45 countries and customers in over 45 countries. I now present The Lanel Show live from one of my favorite places, one of my favorite all-time places, Chinatown, Chicago. It's been an awesome time and I hope you guys enjoy the show. How's everybody doing? Thanks for tuning in to The Lanel Show, your number one source for real life situation. Remix. <laughs> hey, yo, what up? It's Lanel. You know me. I can rap. I can act. I can dance. It's a dream. But see me, I'm a G from the D. And the streets making cream on the scene. That's the team. I make up scream. But then again, I think you a D. They put me on TV and hold me down in my town. I see you haters with a frown. I'm from the mile. If y'all heard, if we have to, we a clown. We got more money than that dude. You call a king with a crown. What? <laughs> hey, listen. My real life situation for this show is shopping specifically Black Friday shopping. Have you guys ever been to like wait it on a Black Friday and then go and then find out that it's only like one or two items out of the whole store that's on sale? Listen, I did that a few years in a row and I'm just sick of it at this point. Like I'm not caring about no Black Friday. As you guys know, I sell merchandise myself and I do not even let it go on sale because I don't want the chaos, number one. Number two, because I treat my brand like a luxury brand and Luxury brands never going to sell, okay? Anyways, I'm going to keep that in mind. And, uh, you know, we're going to move on to the next part. Tell me your experiences with Black Friday. Have you ever had any good experience, bad experience, save some money, not save some money? Listen, it was to the point where I even worked at a merchandising store. And I still, still didn't get, you know, a good deal or anything because it was not many many deals like I, I don't know tell me you guys like it's friday experiences you know i got a lot of everything so i really don't need anything so i, I don't know if that's the reason or i'm not shopping for the right stuff i just want to know what, what do you guys think about this black friday situation because this it hasn't been that good like even when i ask like some of the people when i go shopping like what about your black friday sale they look at me like it's a foreign language or something i'm like okay never mind forget it <laughs> anyways my artist for this show is Soldier Boy, Big Draco 2 has came out. Listen, not only has it came out, but it's phenomenal. <laughs> like, even the features are lit. It's rare when you get an artist that's hot and been hot for a long time and they actually got good features too. Like, come on, man. Like, get, get Soldier Boy his flowers, man, for real. Listen, he, he did his thing on that album, man. If y'all haven't seen, y'all seen why I tweeted, you know, and talked about the album. You know, I bought the album. Um, I also... Listen, what I did was I tweeted, you know, my favorite songs. And my favorite songs are, you know, talking about ish, you know. That song is hot and good because, you know, if you think about it, that's what, that's pretty much sums up what Soulja Boy does. He talks his ish because he's supposed to. He's the first rapper to do a lot of stuff. Anyways, listen, not only that, but Dancing Like Diddy. If you got diamonds, you understand that song. Dancing Like Diddy, come on, man. Come on, come on. And the whole song, the whole... The whole talk my ish is sums up drink big drink up too, but I'm gonna leave it at that for right now. Listen, my food for this show is I cooked for the first time for Thanksgiving. And listen, when I tell y'all I'm so excited because listen, come on man. I had a lot of haters. Man, just go to my go to my Instagram or Twitter or whatever. It's your TLS inspired and go see my food, man. I cook some great food and you know, I just had some haters, including my daughter. Like, people just hating on my on my cooking, man. I don't appreciate that. Like, I cook for the first time, and I think it should be appreciated for Thanksgiving. Anyways, I'm going to move on because I'm just irritated about that. Just, no, no. Anyway, my clothing for this show is TLSAllIn.com Click clothing. Listen, you yeah. have Well, actually, I made sure you can see this. This logo, Okay. Um, it's just a plain, you know, TLS black, you know, something simple with the look, uh, luxury, luxury style, man. Um, now this is what I like about this hoodie. It has these hooks on it. You could put like a face mask, keychains, whatever, anything on here. I've never seen a hoodie with this. I'm just saying, I'm just saying TLS bringing the heat, man. So you can go TLS all in, click clothing, or you can go to, uh, www.gettlsinspired.com. And you'll see the hoodie as well. So, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, just, just little things like that matters, man, in life. You know, you know, just little things, you know? Anyways, anyways, for entertainment news, listen, 
The Breakfast Club is finally keeping the same energy with Draco. <laughs> Listen, man, last time they, they did an interview on him and they did all the gimmicks and everything, and they didn't even talk about his new music. This time, they did the interview, and come Friday, they talked about the album for him. You know, and it was just keeping the same energy. Because y'all, if y'all don't understand, I got into it with Charlamagne last time about that. Like, don't talk about this part if you ain't gonna talk about his music too. Because he dropped music. He always dropped music after he come on that Breakfast Club. So don't play him like that. So they kept the same energy. They they talked, they did their interviews and they, you know, then they talked about his music. So big shout out to Breakfast Club for that. Now, let's let DJ Envy be great. This is what I mean. Listen, Charlemagne does his shot, his side show, side hustles, and all of that, and it, and it comes out good. Even uh, Angela Yee, she does her side show, and it come out good, and everything like that. When DJ Envy tries stuff, it doesn't seem like it's like it gets the right push from the listeners at the Breakfast Club. Now, granted, you know he got his own fan base or whatever, but I'm talking about like when it comes to the Breakfast Club, it's always something that, or something that we got to talk about. When it comes to DJ Envy, like when he, when he did his real estate thing, people had stuff to say about that. Even with his car show recently, he had to change the name because people, you know, didn't like the name and, you know, people, you know, were criticizing that. So my thing is, let DJ Envy be great, man. Let him do his side thing like Angela Yee and Charlemagne does and does it well, too. So that's, that's, that's my thing about that. Anyways, Wendy Williams' show could be ending because of her wheelchair status. My thing is... Why would her show end, if it's something that she loves and she's passionate about and she's going to do the rest of her life, why would she let that end because of her wheelchair status? My thing is, if that's really her passion, something she loves, she can do it in a wheelchair. We've seen plenty of rappers where they, you know, perform in a wheelchair. And, you know, Boosie, for example, you know, if, if it's something you love and you're passionate about doing, you, you're here, you feel like you're here on this earth to do, you can do it in a wheelchair. So I just, that's just my opinion. And my thing is, if she doesn't want to do it, with her current status, then I mean that it's maybe it's not something that she wanted to do from the beginning. Like, if you only want to do something when you're feeling your best, then maybe it's not meant for you to do that. You, you always got to be willing to do things when you're not feeling your best. And that's how you know you're built for success and you're built for that specific thing that you are passionate about doing. Listen, for local news, TLS2009.com. Listen, we're almost at 2,020 millionaires. You guys seen the thousand or whatever, right? So this is what happened. I was driving to 2020 and I said, you know, this is not my goal to like flex on people, right? I was like, man, I want to help 2,020 people become millionaires. That's my flex. And, you know, I've been working on that, working on it. And you guys know, you know, it, it can happen any, any time now. So put it like that, you know, we're working on it, we're almost there. So go join us, www.tls2009.com if you want to become one of those millionaires. Listen, TLS Magazine 3 dropping very soon. Very soon, I dedicated to my mom and my grandma. You know, I lost them back to back. 2019 and 2020 was hard years for me and I'm still dealing with that. In 2021, throughout the holidays and everything, it's just not the same without my mom and grandma. So I have to do a, a magazine, you know, just dedicated to that. Um, yeah. So this is episode two of season 15, you guys. And I'm just, I'm just proud of myself, man. I'm proud of, <laughs> proud of myself, man. Look, comment, like, subscribe, okay? And, you know, listen, we're going to keep it going, man. You know, we're not going to waste no time at all. Just go ahead and uh, hit that bell. And, uh, for sure. <laughs> All right. As you can see, me and my daughter are eating the leftovers from Thanksgiving. Listen, my food was so good, y'all. When I tell y'all it was so good, it was really good. Listen, the only thing I, I will say is some of the food tasted a little different. That's all I'm going to say. But listen, as you can see, my daughter smashed her macaroni. I smashed mine. And it was a, a great, great, great Thanksgiving, man. I want to thank everybody who, you know, got a plate for me. And, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, don't don't be hating on my cooking, man. I can cook, man. I cook real good, man. Hey, Thanksgiving was awesome. And I thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for, you know, 
eating, eating a plate with me, you know. And if you don't listen, I, I if you want a plate, just look, I, I send you a plate. If that's what you want, like, come on now, stop playing with me, all right? Listen, I really do this. I cook, man. I, I threw down. This is my first time cooking for Thanksgiving, and thank y'all for coming out. Shout out to Chick fil A. <laughs>